Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you five of my favorite elbow hang positions. They're going to be all levels from beginner to advanced with something for everybody to try and something for everybody to work towards. Before we get started, just a quick reminder. In an elbow hang, you're really pulling down with your shoulder, keeping your shoulder muscles engaged. Don't let your shoulders pop up to your ear. Have the hoop on your elbow pit. That's the most bendy part of your elbow and not too much on your forearm or on your bicep. Also, remember that elbow hangs are just going to be uncomfortable, especially if you're not used to them yet. It will get better, I promise, but they are going to hurt a little bit. This is a great beginner level move to start your elbow hang because you can practice the position and start building your tolerance without having to put your full body weight onto your elbow right away. Just hook your elbow on the top. If you're on a single point hoop, be aware that it's going to tip slightly to the side and then shift as much of your body weight as possible onto your elbow while you bring the bottom of the hoop right between your legs. Don't have too much weight on the bottom of the hoop because that's going to be a little bit painful. When you're ready to step it up a little, you can try having your full body weight on two elbows. Hook one elbow on each side of the span set with your hands pointing back towards your face, then lift your hips up using your shoulder strength and bring your full body weight out of the hoop and onto your elbows. This is a great way to keep moving forward in your elbow hang journey without having to go straight onto one elbow with your full body weight. This is the basic single elbow hang. To get used to it, you can start from the floor, hook your elbow on, then pull down on your wrist with your other hand, which will help lock your arm on, and get used to the feeling of hanging your full body from one elbow below the hoop. When you feel comfortable starting from the floor, you can move on to starting from your hocks position by hooking your elbow onto the hoop, grabbing your wrist, and then slowly taking off one leg, then the other to come into your elbow hang. And finally, you want to try coming into your elbow hang from your hocks position with both legs coming down at the same time. Those are the more beginner versions of this move. You should feel super comfortable and strong in them before you're ready to move on. If that's enough for you today, then make sure you head over to my channel and subscribe because I've got lots and lots of other tutorials and aerial choreography, all sorts of things, plus a really great community of people over there. So make sure you check it out. If you're ready for the more advanced versions, let's move on to those. Starting from your Delilah or single knee hang from the bottom of the hoop, you should have one knee hooked and the opposite hand holding on. Take your free arm, bring it up and come into your elbow hang. This is the point where I realized I was not going to be able to hold my foot well enough with my big fluffy socks on, and so sadly I had to take them off and have cold, wintry feet. Next, lift up your free leg to where the hand of your elbow hooked arm is and grab the front of your ankle. Once you've grabbed the front of your ankle, you can take your other leg off the bottom of the hoop, then reach around with the hand that was on the hoop and grab your foot behind you to come into your elbow hang half split. When you're ready, let go of your foot in the back, then bring it between your torso and your leg and re-grab it with the same hand, twisting your hips around towards the ground to come into this reverse half split position. Finally, we're going to move on to the most advanced version that we're doing today, the Bird of Paradise elbow hang. You may want to test out your shoulder flexibility on the ground before you put this in the air. Start standing, then open one leg slightly and turn your knee out to the side. Reach down and try to put your elbow behind your knee. Try to put your hand behind your back. Reach around with your other hand and grab your hands together, pulling your leg in towards you. Using your abs and all of the muscles of your body to balance, you're going to slowly raise up back to a standing position on one leg and then try to straighten the leg that is hooked with your elbow. If that's feeling okay, let's put this in the air. Starting the same as the last version with your Delilah or single knee hang, hook your elbow as close to the center of the hoop as possible. Pull up hard with your hand on the bottom of the hoop and your elbow so that you can take the weight off of your hooked knee, lift it off the hoop, and hook it behind your shoulder. When you lift your leg off, the hoop will naturally change its orientation to your body slightly. Finally, try to bring your elbow hooked hand behind your back as much as possible and use your other hand to help pull it around behind you. At this point, you're already in the position and you can play with straightening the leg that's hooked or straightening your bottom leg or straightening both to come into a nice split. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning these elbow hangs and that you found one at your level and one slightly above your level to work toward. This was another requested video. So if you have a video request, please let me know because I love getting your requests and I will make a video for you.